Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Diamond Paints with Mike here and we're going to be doing this J colour here which is a very unusual sort of cross between a light blue and a minty colour um, but this is going to feed up onto this part so I don't know how it's going to pan out but we're going to do our best on this little section here as best we can um, so yeah um, uh, I've been spending the afternoon watching, because I'm recording um, the morning session, the afternoon session, and now the evening session all on the same day, because I've only got today off, and then I've got to go back to work, so I'm not going to have much time to do any tomorrow, so I like to get a little bit done in advance, and um, I've spent the afternoon watching a program on Netflix called Sweet Tooth, and it's about this boy who's got antlers, um, I'm trying to figure out what the story is about, but I'm, I've got into it, and it's I'm on the episode, uh, second episode, but I'm I'm still not sure what it's, what the story is about. So, yeah, but um, I thought well I'll miss these centers and I'll uh, watch it because I need to try and get as much watched as possible because there's like, I think there's like two seasons and there's like so many episodes. So plus. I uh, can watch EastEnders later on the iPlayer, so, yeah. But yeah, what I'll do is on AliExpress, I'll see if they've got any more of these colours. I might order another um, colour of this, because it's really lovely. But I'll check on um, Team Move first. That's nice, they've given us like a border colour for that section there, I quite like that. It's, it's really nice. Okay, so that's that one done. Fantastic, we are slowly but surely filling all the gaps, yay! Um, so, yeah, um, not long until the jungle, I'm recording this at 8 o'clock, so I've got about an hour to cook dinner. I'm actually cooking while I'm, <laughs> while I'm doing this, so it's in the oven at the moment. So I'm having fish fingers and chips with peas, just to use that last bit up, and then... Uh, That'll be that, and then it'll be time for the jungle, and yeah, we've uh, only got one more session of this jungle left, haven't we? So, um, I mean, obviously today and then tomorrow, and then it's the grand final, really, so uh be sad to see it go. I mean, it, it goes so quick. I've put, like, half a dozen wax in here, so I think I'm having the same problem as what Petter did. I don't know what's wrong with this, but it just seems to require quite a lot of wax. <laughs> But yes, now I'm getting to the point of finishing this painting, I've got to figure out whether I want to do another canvas one like this, because obviously I've got uh, that Bengal tiger that I got, that big tiger, or do I go for, I'm itching to get into that um, rose under the glass thing, so I'm, I'm really, really tempted to do that. <laughs> oh, look at that, I picked up four then. Yeah, baby. Oh, brilliant. That's brilliant, fantastic. But yeah, I'm determined to get this one finished today. Oh look, there's a sea cropped up, that's fine. We can go fishing later and get that out. Despite me looking on it, there's always one that I seem to forget. <laughs> but I'm determined to get this painting finished today. Um, so yeah. So, has anyone been watching the... I feel like I'm doing it live. <laughs> has anyone been watching the Eurovision or... I'm not being funny, but I don't really... I don't really watch it. Um, it was on the other night and I recorded it, but I don't really watch it. Because it's... I think it's just like Pop Idol and... Ah, Sunny Stormy, you said you had Pop Idol, didn't you? But yeah, I think it's just, um, I think you'll like this painting because it's cats in it. But uh, I think it's just like X Factor, to be fair. It's nothing really special about it. I love this place, sir. And 
And also with this, I seem to be getting them in straight as well, whereas the plastic ones play up a bit, so... This is the thing, I'll probably be getting rid of my plastic ones soon, because what I need is enough pens to have these metal fitments. So if anywhere, if anyone knows where you can get these separately, that would be great, because I really would like to change all my pens over to these metal ones. But, um... Yeah, if anyone knows where you can buy them. Just don't really want to get rid of the pen, so then we can transfer them all over. So yeah. I really, really enjoyed working on this painting. I don't know. It's funny, isn't it? Because like when you start the painting, you want to get it finished, but then when coming to the end of it, you don't want it to end. <laughs> but uh, it really must, because we've got stacks to get through. <laughs> I should do another kitting up video, but I need to get another carry. Oh yes, that's a point. I, I can have a look on Timu for the little carry. See, that wobbles a bit, so I don't know why that's doing that. But um, I'll have a look on Timu and see if they've got a carry case. I've seen a portfolio. Now, you get two in a pack um, with them, so I might give that a bash and uh, get them. Because the one I got from Art Dot, oh my god, it was horrendous. If you've seen that unboxing on my channel, it's the most worstest design I've ever come across. <laughs> So I wasn't very in love with that, that went straight back. <laughs> oh, look at that, picked up half a dozen there. It's like the time when I was at Butlins, I, uh, it said play until you win. So, um, which I think is the best of Grabber's arcades because you could put like 10 pounds worth and it still won't do it. So, yeah. I think, because I think it's like 50p a time, so they're ranking up loads of money in their machines. But with the play until you win, at least you know you're going to win something. <laughs> but the thing is, obviously, seeing it with their main ones, seeing it... Um, sorry, I've just missed some up there. But seeing it with the main ones and each time getting closer and closer to grabbing the toy, it's uh, obviously making you put more and more money in. But has anyone played that machine? It's like... It's an arcade machine and you've got like this red stopper thing, but they've got like DVDs in it and it's going around on a spiral thing and then you push the one you want. Um, sorry, I thought I was in a game of the arcade. <laughs> so yeah, you push the one you want and then it drops the DVD, I think, but you have to line it up correctly. Or you know the one where it's got tick, it's got like an iPhone and this, it's got this rod thing and then you have to line it up through this cylinder rack thing and it may, it may go and then bash the bottom, or it may go and push the thing out, and then you you uh, get the item inside. I did have a go at, at them sometimes, and uh, I did win. I used to play on this machine in Sir Osif's, which is Caravan Park um, near Jaywick, and um, it used to used to put, it used to chuck out loads of two P's, and I wanted like a little gold car like gold plating car but it had a clock on it and uh problem is if it gets close to the chute because you know if it gets to the chute it's going to go down the chute and you won't get it but if you tell that if you ask them to move it they won't move it across they'll put it right at the back again so they want you to have all the money or if it's going near the chute some some of them do give it to you um but then they're saying if it goes down the chute that you, you're not allowed to have it. Yet, apparently they don't have access to it. Well, they do because they they must fill the machine up with more toys. So, but yeah, I don't mind doing two peas and one peas. Um, it's, it's always funny when you get like a bag of one peas and then you get like more out of the machine than you do putting in. <laughs> But yeah, that's that colour done. So really pretty. Okay, who's a pretty girl? Who says that? Tweety Pie, isn't it? Tessa, confirm. Because <laughs> you do uh, Tweety Pie. 
Is it Tweety Pie that goes? Who's a pretty bird? Tweety Pie. Okay, so we're doing the last two colours now. So uh, we might not do it in this session because obviously I've got to keep an eye on the oven. I'm multitasking, <laughs> which doesn't happen an awful lot. But uh, yeah, we're on the last sort of colours now. So just do that one down there because that's a multi place. But yes, I do like to have a swap of, every time I do a session, I change my pens, just so that each pen is getting a go. And this is the thing with diamond painting, you'll find that you're collecting pens, you're collecting paintings, you've got stacks and stacks upon of different pens. <laughs> Might have to put some of them this is very, it's already got them, but as you can see, if you once you pull it in, it's like really wobbly, so I don't know what that's all about, but. I was debating, do I do a bit of the painting? Hello. Do I do a bit of the painting, and then after I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, do a bit of reading, or do I do it, like reading now, and then do a bit of the painting after, but I thought, I've read like most of the day. Um, I'm just reading an article about, there's this thing about something to do with, because um, obviously Egan Moss was one of our part work companies. A part work is where you get a model, but it's built over two years. You only get parts once a week or once a month. But Egan Moss went bankrupt, um, which I've spoke about in some of my videos. And obviously for a lot of us that build the models, um, we've been left with, incomplete parts so there's a company called fan home that have been sorting out trying to sort out the missing parts for everyone so it's very rare for a part work company to go bust but when it does happen obviously it that all the part work companies will try and come together to try and rescue the builds for the people that are left with no parts so because otherwise if they couldn't do the parts that is going to look like a massive lot of money to refund everyone so i think the cheaper version of it is to try and salvage the parts but yeah it's very rare i mean egan moss I, me and egan moss go back oh, blimey, since the burr collection which was 2004 but yeah when it does happen it's they wasn't very good with their customers as well they would lie to their customers and say oh it will be shipped this month and that month. I mean, at one time, no one heard, no one had any shipments because they were moving warehouse and that causes havoc because you don't get any parts for ages. But it turns out they were doing what's called a cash grab. So what it means is they did these catch up runs. So they would say, pay so much amount and get an extra few issues or something like that. And it turns out that that was a cash grab so that they could pay their warehouse. That's certainly how I look at it because apparently they weren't paying no money to the warehouse that obviously had all the parts in. So the warehouse was like, or the unit or the port, whatever you call it, they were like, right, well, we're not sending them out then. You know, we need paying. So yeah, they. Uh, it turns out that they were lying all the time and th there was this guy on obviously Facebook and all he kept doing was broadcasting about delays. Now obviously if you're a company the last thing you want to do is to keep telling people there's delays because that, that's you know it will put people off building it so I mean we've had to wait quite a while but if you're halfway through the build they're now able to you can like sub to it and they'll sort it out but you can, it's, with like new collections, I've never known a collection to be picked up halfway through. Normally, if you subscribe midway, you, you've got to back order them somehow. Like you can't, say like you wanted to sub from issue 40, you have to start from issue one and work your way up. But because of the palaver with Egan Moss, they've now changed it. So obviously with Fan Home, Fan Home's been quite nice because they've actually allowed people to start from the beginning again um, for everyone that moved the boat. And they've also doing it part way. So, so like you're on issue 70, you can select what number you're up to and then just pick it up from there. But it's very rare that that happens because normally, as I said, that never normally happens in a part work company. Um, 
unless of course they've got like an online shop then of course yeah fair enough they can you know they can do it and stuff but yeah it's um one of them things unfortunately it's uh i don't know why they couldn't just be honest with their customers it it seemed to me they tried to cover up their problems i mean obviously there was talks about they owed thirty thousand pounds i think and they defaulted on a bank loan they actually borrowed money from santander and defaulted so obviously they're panicking thinking how can we keep our business running and that's probably where the cash grab came in for the catch-up runs and stuff so i mean if you have with me i just feel like if there was a problem with the company just be honest just explain be transparent and i think if they did that they could have saved their company because they've been running donkey's years they're one of the first publishers i've ever known so I think what killed it really was because they were being dishonest to customers. I mean, they wanted to grow the company very rapidly. So they would take on like more builds when they've not even released new, like basically they had been, I can't get it all out, but they released more and more models rather than sort out the models that needed sorting first. Um, but what's really fascinating is the Titanic um, the wooden version, no one's picked that up. I know IXO haven't, so I don't know if that's dead as a door now or what. I mean, normally Diagostini will do wooden boats, so we may see it with them, but I doubt that will happen. Um, and obviously, with it, there's been delays because obviously, for copyright reasons, Fan Home have had to change all the magazines over because they've got to have their branding on it now so it's it is a bit of a pickle at the moment um with things going on with them but i think there's light at the end of the tunnel for um the builders that are waiting for parts and stuff okay have we really just done all that five good god that went quick i really thought we had more <laughs> cool blimey okay interesting we can do a little bit, no we haven't, we can't do that because we're not kitted up. Okay, in that case, the last session will be filling in, see I knew I had some more, it's playing tricks on me. <laughs> but yeah, so, I'll tell you what we will do though, because we've got a little bit of time left over, if I can get that F colour, see where I've put it, um, like a little, YB2312, is that E? Yeah, that's E. So we have got like a little orangey colour here, and that's for this little plant here. So I'll just sort that out. It doesn't matter if they go into there because these are finished now, but the last session will be just doing that big section of this A colour. Um, but yeah, I've, I've had a blast on it. I really, really have. Considering that, as I said on the pack, it looked really dark, it didn't really look like what the the photo was it's really turned out to be quite a lovely painting um and i've really enjoyed working on it look i've missed two o's as well that o's um i'll sound like the two one is now o's no o four candles no four candles <laughs> um this is quite a lovely plant you've got flecks of orange in it that's nice you can actually get a flower called bunny rabbit because you squeeze it at the top and it opens like a beak it's quite i don't know why they call it bunny rabbit but it's uh quite good really picking up there's already a drill on there <laughs> but yeah okay so we'll just do two more jays and then that will be that for this session okay guys so that is that i'm itching to get away at this last little section but we really must pull it down i've got dinner to sort out and then i'll crack on with the last bit but i reckon i can get this done tonight but i've really really enjoyed this so far i mean even the color of the partial it's been really lovely to work on please remember to like share subscribe as i said if you want to get this for yourself it is company with the range which reminds me i need to do some more unboxings from the range i need to get some more ordered because i want to get that giraffe but as i said i'm i'm tight slowing it down a bit so i'll only order more when like a painting's coming to an end but i'm finding that i'm getting more and more done within a week so uh yeah brilliant okay that's me done so 
take care guys have a lovely evening tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos i do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and um see you next time take care catch you later